everybody. I have a fun dip recipe that I think you're really going to love. I'm always looking for new, fun, different dips, and this one is a winner. The best part about it is once I sit myself in front of a dip, it's hard to pull myself away. I have to admit it. I'm all about the, the dips and, and chips, but this one's pretty much guilt-free, especially if you serve it with veggies. It's my Tuscan bean dip, and you can make it ahead of time, and really, you'll wow everybody. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a half of a cup of olive oil and get it into a skillet. I want to heat that up a little bit and basically I'm going to make a, a wonderful homemade garlic rosemary oil. So I'm starting with about four cloves of garlic and I just want to get that in that oil and cook it for about a minute or so um, just to really bring out the flavor from that garlic. Now while that's hanging out doing its thing, I want to um, take some fresh rosemary and just because there are very few ingredients in this recipe, fresh rosemary is really best. And you can pick it up right at festival, um, just right in the produce section. And I don't know if you saw how I did that, but it's kind of like, looks like a mini pine tree and you just run your fingers down over um, what I'm gonna call the needles or the leaves and they just come right off the stem like that. And oh, you can just smell it, smell so great. And I'm gonna give it, that rosemary just a little bit of a, a rough chop. There's nothing like the smell of fresh rosemary. Let me tell you, try it with your summer cooking. Great in marinades for chicken pork, steak, you name it. I've got my food processor out um, because this is a dip that I'm going to do right in my food processor and I'm using two cans of Italian cannellini beans that I've drained and rinsed. So two 15 ounce cans, get them right into my food processor. I've also got some fresh lemon juice, about a tablespoon or so of lemon juice. I actually maybe do a little bit extra. I like it nice and lemony. So lots of great flavors and no sour cream or butter in here. All right, I wanna get back to my garlic. So my garlic has been in my oil, just starting to release the flavor and I don't wanna uh, burn the garlic. So I'm gonna get it off the heat. I'm gonna add a pinch of red pepper flakes and in goes my rosemary. And this is real quick. Again, it's just all about some great flavor. Now at home, let that oil cool a little bit and then get it into your food processor. All of that oil, you can save a little bit for the top, just to drizzle on the top if you like, um, but get that oil in there with the, the garlic, the beans, the lemon juice, and then let's give this guy a whirl. And you just wanna process this until it's nice and smooth. So a few little pulses. That looks absolutely perfect. Okay. There we go. This is so great with toasted Italian bread or French bread. It's also great with veggies and dip. And think outside the normal, you know, carrots and celery. Think about dipping things like, you know, putting it on a pretty vegetable platter with um, sliced up red peppers and yellow peppers and, and snap peas and cucumbers, things like that. Now we have a little bit of that wonderful rosemary garlic oil in the bottom of the pan. I like to serve that right on top of that bean dip and then a little bit of fresh extra rosemary on top there too. And there you go, this one is a winner. Recipes on our website, you can also pick it up at any Festival Foods. Enjoy, we'll be right back.